ponies here. Hello my friends of Middle Earth and welcome to the map vault. It's gonna be a 2v2 replay commentary for BFME 1 on the page 2.22. Between the White Isengard player, the White Hand, AK48, his ally, the Orange, Rohan player, Matthews 316, their opponents, the Yellow Model player, Balindru CW, and his ally at the bottom left side, the Blue, Rohan player, Denny, just kidding, JK. Okay, so Rohan Mordor versus Rohan Isengard. I mean, Mo Vault is a very big map. Actually, it's one of the, if not the biggest 2v2 map in the map pool we have in BFME 1. And, you know, the bigger the map is, the better it is for Mordor. We will see, hopefully, and eventually, like, three, four Orc Pits. And, you know, what Kofmog like to see. The age of man is over. The time of the Orc will come. And the peasants, they don't stand a chance. Rohan has the best spot, but when you play this map, the bottom left spot is the best spot in the game. Why? We have Because we have like one, two, three, four settlements, and three of them are incredibly difficult to reach for your opponent, because they are behind your castle, and this way you can also protect this. If you play evil like Isengard or Mordor, choose this spot, it will kind of you know, increase your win rate by quite a lot. The stable coming up, so Rohan is not spamming too many peasants, but actually, he has still four peasants in total, and of course, the Hobbit, Hobbit, Meriodach, Brandybuck. In the meantime, Mordor didn't get any damage. He's in a very good spot. Oryx, they will be out spamming the peasants from the map. That's why you need a stable ASAP. But this Rohan doesn't have a stable just yet. Isengard has a very good looking base too. He has a Uruk pit, but he has not recruited a single Uruk yet. It's a big mistake. Against Rohan, you want to recruit multiple, you know, Uruks to keep with the spam of the peasants. And also very important to reach the Uruk pit to level 2. That will give you the chance to recruit the Uruk pikemen. And they are, of course, going to be a counter to the Rohirrim. The Rohan player, Denny, JK, will have on the field very, very soon. Okay, so lots of Orcs. Only one Orc pit. And Haradrim Palace coming up, which is of course important because Haradrims are actually good for creeping, goblins or trolls or wargs. And then you can also put them inside the outpost and it will be kind of difficult for your opponent to destroy your outpost if the Haradrims are on top of it. Oh, I mean, this player we actually made a lot of peasants. Very, very late and super delayed stable though. And that comes Lourdes, the fighting Urukai. Look at him, boys. This guy is fanboying Saruman so much. He has even a white hand tattoo on his face. Who does that? Who does that? The peasants, they will get two-shotted by Lourdes. No problem. Boom, boom. And of course, the power spike we are looking for is level 3. That's going to unlock the Carnage, which will make him to one of the most powerful melee heroes in the game. Only Gimli with Slayer or Aragorn with Anduril and Blademaster can fight and kill this guy in melee when Carnage is active. Okay, so he needs to recruit crossbowmen. So in order to get this to level 2, you need to recruit uh, units worth of 1000 resources. So you can actually recruit 2 crossbowmen and 1 uruk, or you can recruit 5 uruk or 3 crossbowmen. You just need to spend a 1000 to get it to level 2. I think the blue Rohan is so rich. Holy guacamole. Look at the map, boys. Like, he has legit... I would say more than 50% of the map. That's awesome. I mean, he will... Maybe at this point, it would be just a good choice to just rush Entmut. Imagine you build Entmut right here before your opponent gets the chance to get to Armory. It would be pretty much GG. And also, Ents actually kind of counter the Isengard faction as long as Isengard doesn't get to purchase Fire Arrows for his crossbowman. But Lourdes, of course, is going to be a very difficult hero to deal with for Rohan because Lourdes also countering the Rohirrim. However, you need to recruit pikemen and you need a lot of them. But you need to make a mix of pikemen and berserker because the Mordor might send some of the orcs to you. And orcs, of course, is, are the cheapest counter to pikemen. Oh, they will get huge levels. Huge levels if they destroy it. Look, level three and a half. In Haradrim's tomb, the well is trying to be built up, but as long as the you know the well is on the round, Rohan has to be careful. More and more orcs are coming non-stop. This fight at the outpost feels like the Black Gate mission <laughs> in the good campaign of Battle for Middle Earth. 
the works everybody is against rohan where was gondor when Vold fell okay there is no gondor in this one we only see rohan isengard mordor we are still missing the last remaining faction out of four factions only four factions I wish there would be more factions in BFM1, like elves could be potentially a thing, dwarves, goblins, and you, I mean, like six factions would be the dream, right? Three good factions and three evil factions. That's like what we are looking for. Goblins is the evil faction and elves is the good faction. Okay, I mean, actually, oh, never mind. Oh, Aragorn is here. You better run, son. The king is here, okay? He can use Elaine deal too. Uh, Eoma is only level 3, but he, I mean, he has no leadership yet and also no upgrades on the horses. In Theorin's level, in this situation, is level 1. Level two, uh, level 3 is required for the 4th Eolingas, which will grant the Rohirrim a fear resistance. So they won't get scared by Cloudbreak or by Elaine deal. Okay? In the meantime, Oryx everywhere. That's what you'll have to see. Does he have Anduril? He doesn't. Let me take a look into the PowerPoints. Uh, no, he doesn't. He does. Okay, he does. Of course he does. I see the blue, blue sword. I mean, I'm rusty actually. Ooh, the troll is knocking him down on the ground. He, I mean, I think he will... He will two-shot the troll, by the way. He will two... Kill him. Okay, three shots. Four shots. Yeah. You have no chance, dude. This is Aragorn. Araton's son. Like Legolas would like to see. But he has not many horses, and more trolls are coming. Haradrim's orcs. I mean, yeah, Aragorn is strong, but can he deal with all of this by himself? It will take him some time, but if he fights around the well, he will keep healing up all the time. He's countering the Haradrim's. Look, he's one-shotting them. The rune, they don't stand a chance. The troll without drama troll le leadership and witch king leadership can't do anything about Aragorn. The only thing he can do if he gets lucky is to keep knocking him down. But Aragorn has a high chance of resisting the knockbacks, okay? He is one of the, I mean, he's the best Rohan hero after all, and one of the most expensive heroes. Look the damage he's dealing to the trolls. He's showing that there is also Legolas, but Legolas is getting chan, 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 put him in the tower. Yeah, he will put him in the tower. There, he will be able to shoot too, non-stop. The Citadel has to be killed first, but without upgrades, the Rohirrim, they can't fight against Aragorn. Everybody is hardcore focusing down the outpost, and what is Isengard doing in the meantime? He is preparing an army. He has armory upgrades, he has also already the heavy armor, and he has Saruman, but he doesn't like to sport his ally, not even a little bit. There comes the Nazgul. And Legolas is shooting all the time, you see? You need Eowyn now. Eowyn will be recruited. She will have the I am no moment, okay? Aragorn is powerful, but yet he's not ranged. He can't deal with the Nazgul. That comes to Hoaxrike from Legolas. Eowyn will have her time, but Balindru sees it coming. He's scared. I mean, Eowyn was not even needed. Eowyn is riding. She has to look like a Rohirrim. This is the best ability in the game. <laughs> this guy's... Okay, level 3, Legolas. But what is he doing? He's running it down! Okay, he will be using the knife fighter. It will grant him extra resistances. And in the meantime, you know, Isengard taking his time. Building an army worthy of Mordor. <laughs> and observing the game. He doesn't contribute. And of course, Mordor was able to keep the pressure up. And Aragorn will be now sent. He doesn't care, okay? He will use his Blade Master. He goes and takes down the Mount Doom, the Baradur himself. But now they have the Drummer Troll. Now it's a different story. Or is it a different story? Aragorn doesn't care, boy. Aragorn doesn't care, boy. There comes the Atelas. I mean, he killed two trolls, but he wasn't able to destroy the Baradur. But there comes the darkness, and now they have leadership, okay? Now they have crazy leadership, darkness, heroes, and upgrades. Can Aragorn survive this? No need to use this one, it won't help you, because Theoden, I mean, actually, I also grant you fear resistance, if you don't know. Let me take a look into this. I can show you, you see? Fear invulnerability. The Eye of Sauron. Pew! They don't care. The Drama Troll doesn't give leadership to the horses. 
Elaine deal won't affect you because of course they have like when you're level three you won't be affected anyway but eye of, of eye of sorrow also grants you fear resistance the drummer troll trying to 1v1 aragorn it's a big mistake that's like the battle for middle earth aragorn show there comes the fireball isengard finally making a move but i saw somebody getting killed legolas the prince of the mirkwood elves as eowyn screaming i am no man and taking down the nazgul from the sky no witch king but mordor is outpost over here and rohan is outpost over here so the blue rohan is actually very rich he has even enough money to recruit his own aragorn or legolas aragorn is it going to be because he has seen what aragorn is capable of okay aragorn is now level seven if he magically somehow gets to level 10 he will be able to summon one battalion of the off breakers the army of the dead you know it i know it they can crush everything they deal true damage okay you can have leadership all you want he will they, they are pretty much immune to damage and they are very fast they are faster than trolls so they can run you down round three aragorn once again going inside the jeans hitting like an absolute drug but don't try to kill the drama troll kill the trolls instead two trolls are chasing they can run you down but aragorn can turn around and kill you in two hits but he's very low now rohan would need to be around this location if he would be here remember heal from Mateusz is still on cooldown he would be able to kill aragorn but he's going for the isengard piece instead isengard is two pikemen inside the beast but there are some rohirrim archers and one of them is being even level seven and with the leadership of elma who is now level four and Theodin, who gives you leadership of level one he will get slaughtered the pikemen but there comes the fireball from the young wizard sariman I mean, it's a mistake from Isengard to actually rotate with all the army. What you want to do instead is you want to siege. Look, when you play Isengard against Rohan in a map like this, the only way you can win this game is by bringing the fight to them, okay? You want to recruit some rams and threaten his castle. That's the only way. If a level 10 Rohirrim, uh, Legolas will be revived. He's level 4, by the way. Each level will make him hit way harder, and he will be the hero killer in the situation. There comes the Wizard Blast, but Mordor was able to get the last hit on the creep. He doesn't even care about the money because Mordor has enough money. He has 4,000 plus, but he needs 4,000 more actually to recruit the Witch King, which is important because we've seen without the Witch King, without the Darkness, the Drama Troll combination, the Trolls, they can't do anything about Aragorn. Aragorn just single-handedly goes in, does what he wants, and goes out. There comes the Cloud Break. The Cloud Break is from Mateusz, but the Eye grants you fear resistance. It is another Aragorn. You want to be careful, Aragorn. He's level 7. Both are using the blade master the twins but they are fighting not with but against each other okay and this aragorn has to respect this but in the meantime smart move from rohan player danny jk he is committing to the outpost knowing that the only protector who is mighty and strong enough to keep them away aragorn was not here and this will be actually huge and massive for mordor now he can finally move forward okay because the outpost is very close to the Mordor castle and with that being said Mordor has to respect this otherwise Aragorn will be sent in, in destroy some buildings get away go to the well heal up to full HP and repeat Aye, repeat King repeat I Theorian King will ride to war and of course Legolas will get back very soon Theorian can be placed Aragorn can be placed also to the Isengard combos all of them giving leadership bonuses and with the leadership you also get from Saruman and eventually Lords too yes and Warchant you reach numbers beyond your imagination and in addition to that Isengard will be able later on once he has enough power points but he doesn't have any power points yet why because he was not really participating in those battles he still needs four full power points to get to unlock the freezing rain which will of course counter everything but Mordor has to offer darkness witch king drama leadership they will be meaningless so will be Aragorn's leadership and Theoden and Elma so basically Rohan and Mordor, both of these factions are heavily relying on leadership bonuses, but without them, they are not very strong. Cripple him. He doesn't even cripple him, but you see the leadership they have, the pikemen, they are crazy. Oh, level 8. Uh, big commitment, Rohir marches are hitting very hard. The, their job is to kill the heroes. They should be trying to kill Theodin. Theodin is a very strong hero in terms of sportive power, but he's very squishy too. 
that's gonna be a big fight trolls are charging marching in what are the combos focusing but they will still be able to one shot the trolls no witch king fireball level seven big commitment level four glorious is available from the blue rohan denny he is not using it where is the cripple from lords he has been holding it all the fight he didn't cripple aragorn he didn't cripple elma he didn't cripple theorin big fight i don't know fiesta is about to happen he's leveling up the combos in front of their face freezing rain finally unlocked lords is manhandling this we have seen glorious charge from both the rohan players elma is still pinned in place but nobody even tries to kill him he's just observing from a long and from a safe distance we have so much firepower here legolas is using the hoax strike but elma is a beefy hero he doesn't get one shot it if level seven lords that's as strong as you can get with unlocking all the powers from the fighting urukai half a level away from getting to the villa of sariman which will heal and with atelas with heal from the rohan spellbook this rohan army this isengard army and of course also sariman is going to be nearly immortal 400 command points a four power points for Danny, nine power points for palindru after the darkness he still needs 11 power points for his own balrog who doesn't care about your leadership who doesn't care about your aragon he doesn't care about your level 10 combos he will be summoned underneath and he will one shot everything in the meantime rohan has a huge army by the way holy Level 5, level 5, even Elvin has been recruited. Old Ridamark is marching to destroy Isengard forces. The base is durable. I mean, level 3 furnaces. Dude, they have 5,500 HP. They will shoot non-stop. And they have to still respect this. This army will melt through your structures and destroy every single building. But this army doesn't include any Rohir marches. And in a horse against horse fight the firepower the will the the, the sheer the sheer power of the fire will melt there comes the war chant there comes the cloud plague from Mateusz that will slow them down the units but it's a huge number disadvantage for the orange and he has also no rage there comes the glorious charge from the orange Rohan play Mateusz the blue has to respect but they can't really get away because Cloudbreak is slowing you down that gives Mateusz a chase potential but yet he refusing to change uh, chase the army from Isengard is here but they are giving way too much time to Mordor who still doesn't have any catapults nor any Mumakias in this situation you know these two types of units especially Mumakias can be actually very nice because imagine you get one beautiful and lucky trample in which you might eventually kill like two three heroes it will you know make you get like five six power points from one trample all alone because mumakis one shot everything even if aragon will get stomped he's dead you know pikes are getting into the range aragon is here there comes the beautiful fireball holy moly we see so many <laughs> i don't know projectiles flying around spear throws like crazy elvin level five the outpost is under threat, under attack. The orcs are destroying the statue. There comes a the trample. Protect this one, though. Don't let it get destroyed. Glorious charge has been used. Remember the glorious charge from Matthews. The orange is still on cooldown. There comes the warm tongue. He will miss everything. Theorin is so low. Kill him. I mean, the focus of um, Isengard is actually he doesn't even shoot with everything he has. You know, that's the problem. He never cripples. He actually cripples somebody. There comes the darkness but darkness kind of mistiming because the fight is already over the darkness is going to be kind of wasted and they will heal up to foolish me all the heroes are still remaining on the field oh he actually was able to steal some of the horses but they will get crushed now by the isengard army yeah 11 power points almost 12 for malindru now he's getting very close to the balrog matthews is only three power points away from himself for the aod army of the dead AK-84 still needs 12 power points for his own Balrog. And the last player, the blue Rohan player, has almost 6 power points after the Anduril. So he still needs to get, first of all, either to the ends or to the Cloud Break. But this one doesn't even lead you to the ends. It will only lead you to the Cloud Break. There comes the Warchan on the horses, which is a big mistake. Your army is rotating too. Right through them and Warchan all together. There comes the Witch King Screech. The army getting knocked down, knocked back. Aragorn is a little bit too deep in there. 
and the trolls might actually be able to smack him, smack him because the witch king gives leadership darkness is active drama troll don't attack with drama troll if drama troll attacks he won't give leadership aragon is the peel i don't know what's happening i don't know what eisinger is shooting at but he was able to destroy one of the nazgul's one nazgul has been slain the eowyn gets knocked down but she has the moment of the i am no man and killing the witch king the last nazgul is getting shot 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 and it's gonna get destroyed level eight legolas has been recruited too i mean has been unlocked too because he's you know he's shooting incredibly fast he has like a crazy attack speed and each attack is going to hit very hard against heroes like there is a potential there are so many targets you can aim at you know there is a theorine who is very squishy there is a elma but also you are very squishy gimli is using the extra o. there comes the army of the dead to kill all the melee but rohir match is gonna get in safety aragorn is being chased don't let him get killed protect your king at all costs and aragorn is gonna be just fine and he's all about it all about to hit level 10 too that's crazy balinduru almost has the balrog unlocked and that's the only way he can deal with such a big force of isengard in rohan combination this was what saruman was trying to do when he was asking theoden to make peace can we not can we not make peace you and i if theoden would agree that would be the power of rohan isengard duo in the lord of the rings and sauron wouldn't stand a chance frodo wouldn't even need to destroy the one ring because saruman joining gondor and rohan and marching to the black gate would be more than enough to overwhelm and crush every single orc in existence three orc pits and non-stop i think mortar was getting more power points from losing oryx than actually killing stuff good micro from um Mateusz all the time he was not losing his aragon for a single time and the king of rohan and gondor of the united men of the west army was able to get to level 10. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo, okay and Rohan is trying hard to protect his ally. There comes the freezing rain. Oh, fireball, dude. What can you do against such a wreck? They say cloud break, stun them, EOD, kill them. But. Busan! Dude, did you see this? Saruman just killed Aragorn. Yeah, the unkillable Aragorn has been just slain. The Baldrog, the Maya using his wings to fly to the outpost gimli yeah wars are not made for sprinting man just run just run as fast as you can as good as you can isengard lost all the army but he has another army cooking at the, out at the outpost bottom the outpost also is under control from Matthews. he never made any siege weapons he never threatened he was threatening the castle of the blue eyes a blue rohan player at the bottom left side but he should he should you know you want to open possibilities this game is all about having momentums but you need to create those they won't give they won't you won't get them gifted so you want to you know open some areas destroy some of the walls and then when they rotate to this you have like uh, 400 command points that means you can easily have two armies if they come to this location you want to threaten this castle and force your opponent to split this army too but Rohan is just safe because they are kind of tunnel vision focused on Mortar, and because of that, Mortar is getting power points all the time. For example, now Balindru has five power points already. He has the chance to go for a scavenger, for example, which he should because his money is not looking that good. But scavenger is going to be quite helpful because then you can go for the troll kitchen number two, you can make some catapults, you can make some movement kills, and you will need it. Never found the transition into the uh, level 2 archer range yet. Powering up. I mean, he has so much money, Matthews, by the way. But of course, investing into this many towers will make you poor. Because they cost 700 each. And he was just spending over 5,000 building all of these up. But the Witch King is being chung, 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 chung. He's building full towers. Witch King has to respect this and get away. There is no Eowyn that can use the smite. But Witch King is a beefy hero. Very tanky hero. And he will be just fine. The outpost here is going down and not demolishing those buildings from Mateusz is a big mistake too because that will help the blue rohan to reach to EOD and trust me on that one the EOD from the blue rohan is going to be way more impactful because there are so many melee units from Isengard and Rohan too Aragorn, Legolas and they are very Im uh, immobile because EOD is faster than them and the EOD summon from the blue rohan player 
Danny JK will be definitely, if he uses that correctly, way more impactful than the EOD from Mateus because he was using it against Rohirrim, he was killing like three battalions of Rohirrim, but it was all about it, you know. EOD is reloading, and summon is available, maybe with the ends, they are looking to get into the castle of Rohan. They should be trying to do something like this. Isengard is so rich, right? He has almost 30,000 in total, but he can't use the money because his command points kept. And last but not least, Danny is kind of poor, but he has Cloudbreak, which, you know, the stun won't really do much because everything is level 10 or higher, <laughs> but uh, maybe the armor reduction is going to do the trick. Does he have the freezing rain available? Let me take a look into this. No, it's on cooldown. So with the rain on cooldown and with the Witch King leadership, but darkness is also on cooldown, the ends are throwing rocks. They are looking to get inside the jeans. It's a huge army. And Danny still needs 10 power points, okay? He needs 10 power points <laughs> to get to... Oh, there comes the... Uh, you see, level 10 Aragorn is like a cheat code. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! 30 seconds is all it takes, boy! Dude, he was like, I got this. I will defend myself. And then, boom, AOD on your face, son. No counterplay. Fight for me and I will reward you. He's sending all his Nazgûl and his Witch King to protect his ally, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. He has an outpost, he won't be defeated. He lost all the heroes, including Theoden, Elma, and Aragorn. The castle has been crushed and completely destroyed in less than a minute. That's the power of Isengard, Rohan, Legolas. He's hitting so hard. Look his DPS. Lourdes was the one who got the kill. Legolas is level almost nine. Gimli is jumping on the drama trolls, knocking them down on the ground and slaying them one by one, getting closer to the ultimate power spike, the level 5 Slayer, which is like an improved version of the Anduri, uh, of the Blade Master. Blade Master is giving you more, more power because it gives you armor and damage in total, while the Slayer doesn't give you any armor, but it gives you a whole boost of a damage and movement speed, which gives you the chance and turns the slowest melee hero in the game to the fastest one, okay? He has the chance to run down everybody but Gandalf on horse. So Saruman Lourdes, if he, as long as he doesn't get crippled, even Aragorn can't get away from the dwarf. And he's raging. They are fully committing to the outpost at the top, at the last outpost from Danny. No, that's not true. He has another one here. No, never mind. He didn't have. Danny has been now defeated. Balindru is the last survivor maybe he will get the chance to summon the balrog for the second time but even then you won't have the chance to win because isengard has two castles right <laughs> rohan has a castle and has like bunch of outposts one two three outposts in total you will have the outpost number four now yes so you need to destroy every outpost and every castle if you want to get him out of the scheme all the nazgus got slain Long revive timers on the Witch King and the Nazgul. Balrog is available now from Isengard too. So now we have a you know very powerful situation for Isengard Rohan duo because they have Balrog to kill the building, destroy the buildings, and EOD to kill the remaining army of Mordor, which is not a lot actually, right? There comes the Balrog of Morgoth. Put the animation of Balrog summon is so juicy, man. I like it. I really do like it. It's gonna fly inside the jeans. Posing around a little bit, showing, smiling to the camera. Look, mommy, I'm, at, <laughs> I'm on the television. He's gonna destroy the Baradur. That's all it takes. That's all they had to do. Send Balrog. Ooh, nice. The three hunters. <laughs> the three hunters against the Balrog of Morgoth. Swords are no more useful. Fly, you fools. Yep, yep, yeah. And also, you know, if you don't know, look, if Balrog vaults over the AOD, they will die too. Are I gonna get whipped? <laughs> Come here, boy. I wanna see this. Show me, why are you running? Oh, Legolas? <gasps> The only was so lucky. Oh, Gimli! 
Gimli got killed in the last possible second. I mean, Mordor has been destroyed. GG well played. What a funny game, you know? I mean, I got, actually was kind of sleeping a little bit, but Rohan was holding the outpost. So huge shout out to Matheus 316. He was actually holding his outpost against Rohan and also Mordor simultaneously. That's pretty big. Uh, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, my friends of Middle Earth, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.